And now we'll bring you a wrap on the Singapore Air Show 2018. It is Asia's biggest aerospace and defense exhibition, and this year it attracted more than 1,000 firms from 50 countries and regions, including 65 of the top 100 global aviation companies such as Airbus, Boeing, and UTC Aerospace Systems, as well as the small and medium-sized aviation technology enterprises from around the world. Exhibitors use the platform to promote exchanges and cooperation and look to further expand their businesses. You will see uh, participants or exhibitors from all over the world here. That's why we, that's why we are here. We are trying to look for opportunities to, uh, to do business with all these companies from all over the world. I think the Singapore Air Show is a very professional exhibition. All the participants here are linked to our business. Besides, some big companies, such as the original equipment manufacturers, OEMS, are also showing many new things to us. We can directly see their new aircrafts or the cutting-edge technologies. Two Chinese aviation companies also drew a lot of attention at the exhibition with their new commercial and military aircraft. U.S. company Lockheed Martin laid two trump cards on the outdoor exhibition area of the air show, the F-35B and the F-22. The F-35 family is the world's largest single-seat, single-engine carrier-borne fighter and the only fifth-generation carrier-borne fighter currently in service. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine stealth air superiority fighter. The presence of both models immediately generated great attention from visitors at the air show. Russia came to the air show with multiple MIG fighter models exhibiting at its oversized pavilion, among which the high-profile MIG-35. Classified as a Generation 4 Plus fighter jet, MIG-35 can track 24 targets simultaneously and attack 8 targets with R-77 air-to-air missiles. On the last day, aircraft maintenance took center stage and Singapore did attract innovations in this area. So augmented reality is meeting aerospace technology and this is the future of aircraft maintenance. And globally, it's a $75 billion industry which is expected to double in the next decade and Singapore is at the heart of it. Singapore is, is a real global hub for aerospace MRO, uh, not just in Asia Pacific. And uh, in terms of volume and in terms of capabilities, I think uh, we've seen growth uh, to be uh, very high and we see that it's going to continue to be the case. Uh, our idea is to move, uh, bring some of these technologies, anything from drones, automated ground vehicles, uh, to data analytics, to 3D printing, to make uh, aerospace maintenance, repair and overhaul more productive, safer, and producing work at higher quality. The 350-1000 has, to date, 169 orders going to 11 operators. What we want is uh, to deliver an aircraft that really meets uh, the high level of expectations of uh, Qatar Airways. Uh, they are excited. I, we've, we've been, I have been in Doha one week ago already. Uh, time flies, yes. yes. I can tell you the emotion, the, the real palpable, I mean, real strong emotion of, of the Qatar Airways uh, leading team when the aircraft flew by the airport, when the aircraft taxied uh, right in front of them, when they boarded the aircraft, they love the aircraft. They, it's, it's passionate, it's, they like the aircraft very much. Boeing announced deals worth nearly $1 billion with a goal to more than triple its servicing units annual revenue in five years. The Singapore Air Show lasted until February the 11th. It is a biennial event and considered as one of the three largest shows in the world. When we return after the break, we bring you a short report on aircraft baggage compartment. You join us again.
day and night. We are on the road, following all the stories, and it takes a lot to earn your trust, to give you the coverage you've always trusted, because no one has more experience to tell your story, to keep you informed. News at 10. This is what the baggage compartment of an average aircraft looks like on the outside, and opening this hold is as easy as one, two, three. To open or not to open has now become a source of worry for the industry, as two airlines late last year alleged that the hold had been opened while taxing. Just recently, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority dismissed the allegation of airpiece on an attempted theft on one of its aircraft on the runway 18, right of Mortala Mohammed Airport in Lagos. But the airline said it stands by its claim, insisting the dismissal of the very serious security breach is alarming, and reiterated that its pilot's call to control tower was made after the rear cargo hold of its aircraft was opened and shut after 15 seconds. And so we ask an aircraft pilot if it's possible to open that hold while the plane is taxiing. It's quite possible to open a baggage compartment while the aircraft is stationary waiting for clearance. It has happened before in 1990s. In fact, uh, there were a lot of thefts on the, at the end of the runway when you are standing by for clearance to take off. But bandits will come and open your cargo compartment, remove baggage and then run away into the bushes. It has happened several times in 1990s. In fact, they had to require, uh, they had to get uh, soldiers to do a shoot at sight uh, uh, operation at that time. So it is very, very, very possible to open the cargo compartment. It is not like a central lock on your car. The cargo compartment of a 737, as you can see, it's uh, very easy to open. You don't need any skill to open it. I mean, all, all the baggage handlers open the cargo compartment and close it. So it's very easy to do that. Now, in some airplanes, there is a lock that you lock it in some smaller airplanes. But hardly will you see a pilot locking an airplane if the airplane is going to fly. Usually, it's when you, when you park, you're going to overnight, you're going to leave the airplane at the tarmac that you lock and secure the airplane. But when you are going to take off, you don't anticipate any kind of uh, preferring from the cargo compartment. So you don't lock it with key. So it's, uh, and unfortunately, it is quite possible for anybody to come and open the cargo compartment. And an analyst has this to say. The airport should do a thorough investigation into this matter. And whatever their findings are, pending that, we should not just take it as a story. We should immediately put some measures in place to ensure that it does not happen at all. If it's, you're going to be escorting the flights, if you're going to be um, making sure you do some more lighting around the, the airfield, then let's take whatever steps. Meanwhile, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, says it's taken this issue seriously as it is introducing new security measures at the nation's major terminals.